Everyone, and welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com. So, I'm Russell Gamer and Zenfix TV. I'm the Russell Gamer, Donald B. Billy Bridge, are continuing with the Slammy coverage. My preview of all the categories, and the next one we're going to be talking about in this video, in this installment, is the Double Cross of the Year, oddly enough, being presented by the Shield. I wonder if that's kayfabed up a little bit to have them presenting the double cross of the year. But anyway, let's look at the nominees. Uh, we have uh, Triple H and Daniel Bryan from SummerSlam. Uh, when uh, Triple H pedigree, Daniel Bryan, and uh, basically handed the WWE Championship over to Randy Orton. And Shawn Michaels and da uh, super kicking Daniel Bryan at Hell in a Cell. Mark Henry, Mark Henry's feigned retirement angle. Uh, with him and John Cena, and then Paul Heyman screwing CM Punk at Money in the Bank. Now let's take a look at some of the what I consider to be the bigger shockers in this. Uh, in this, um, Triple H turning on Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. Yeah, that was a shock. That was a shock. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody, not even yours truly. And that rarely WWE rarely catches me off guard with some of their angles, you know. Rarely am I taken away from one, from a turn, from a surprise. And they definitely accomplished that with Triple H and Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. Um, not so much with Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan at Hell in the Cell, because a lot of fans were expecting Shawn Michaels to side with Triple H, you know, when he super kicked Daniel Bryan. It was more along the lines of expected. So it, it really doesn't measure up to being a double cross of the year. Now, what I consider to be one of Mark Henry's greatest promos ever pulled, one of the, the greatest promos he has ever executed in his career, it was the retirement angle he did. He suckered everybody. I mean everybody. And when he turned and gave John Cena the world strong the slam, I, I said, you know what, sir? I tip my hat to you. You did a marvelous job, and that was indeed... If anything, that kind of almost ties, if not further exceeds... The Triple H Danny Bryan screw job at SummerSlam, and finally Paul Heyman screwing CM Punk at Money in the Bank. CM Punk, when when he made his return, he was turning face, and and Heyman was staying staying heel. They needed something to keep Heyman, you know, with the heel heat, and for, further cement the the face turn for CM Punk. So Heyman screwing CM Punk at Money in the Bank, to me. Again, it, it just kind of registers with Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan at Hell in a Cell. So if, if I had to officially pick between Triple H and Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam and Mark Henry and John Cena with the retirement angle, I think the one that got the, the bigger pop, the bigger crowd reaction, to, to me, honestly, I would, I would give it to Mark Henry and John Cena. Because like I said, this was Mark Henry's greatest promo he's ever executed. M Mark Henry, not known for being very flawless on the microphone um, at this stage in his career, pulled off a beautiful angle with this retirement thing and suckered everybody into believing that this was this was real, that this wasn't storyline, this wasn't kayfabe, and he really got... All the fans going, I gotta say, I salute Mark Henry for that. It was a great promo. John Cena involved in it as well. I'm pretty sure Cena haters out there are like, Oh, Cena was in it. It was bad. Well, you guys know my, my opinion on Cena haters. You know, and the lack of intelligence that they show. Um, so officially, my pick is Mark Henry and John Cena the retirement angle to be double cross of the year what I want to know now from you guys out there the viewers and subscribers your thoughts who do you think 
which which one do you, of these uh, nominees should be Double Cross of the Year? Triple H and Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan at Hell in the Cell. Daniel Bryan got two chances to win it. Mark Henry and John Cena, the retirement angle. And Paul Heyman and CM Punk at Money in the Bank. Make sure you put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Don't forget to like the Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash WGSTV. And don't forget to please subscribe to youtube.com slash WrestleGamer and youtube.com slash ZFXTV Network. So with that being said, I'm the Russell Gamer, WB Billy Boutreau, saying thank you very much for watching.